Hello everybody, behind me is my mom over there. It's a happy belated birthday to my mom. I uh, released an album on my mom's birthday that I feel like my mom probably hasn't heard yet. Have you heard I it yet? I have, mom? yes. Oh, okay, I never am, mind. And I have, and I thank you. I oh. loved it. Did you hear the whole thing? Yes. Oh, okay, well then, in that case, I don't need to make this video anymore. I thought you didn't hear it yet. <laughs> I sure did. Okay. So I'm done? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so much for that video idea. Anyways, how's it going, everybody? MJ in the booth. Now I gotta reevaluate what I want to do here. Okay, so now that that video idea is out of the way completely, uh, I'm just gonna react to my old music. <laughs> so I've done a video before of me going over quickly, pretty briefly, over my uh, previous music projects, and uh, this is gonna be the first time that I'll be reacting to it in a while, so. I'm gonna switch over to microphone voice in a little bit. First, I gotta pop on the SoundCloud. But uh, before we do that, I'll have to do a lot more promotional stuff, but your boy's been sick for a little while. Make You Love Me EP, released by yours truly. Came out on October 25th, my mom's birthday. That's why you saw her earlier. She's not here anymore because uh, I picked her up from work and she's kinda tired, so don't mind her. <laughs> also, she's already heard the project and I didn't expect that out of her, so. Yeah, it's a really good listen. I've got a lot of positive feedback from it and I'm really happy about that. Thank you all for listening to it. If you haven't checked it out already, check it down in the description now. Aside from that, let's react to some old MJ in the booth. Back when I was not even named. I was like Mark Jordan or MJ Ramirez or something like that. <laughs> it's okay, let's uh, open up MJ in the booth on SoundCloud because this is what all my old projects are. And we're gonna get started with my first ever project, Soliloquy. Here we go, track one, prelude. Relax yourself, girl, please settle down. Relax yourself, girl, please settle down. Relax yourself, girl, please settle down. Another thing up for the checklist. I've been dropping hits in the city that's also reckless. So watch your necklace as they're snatching up your jewelry. They tried to get me a tune, it isn't cool to me The school, but in reality I'm learning like the chalk on the board I'm catching the debris, getting trapped inside of my lungs So give me room to breathe Ooh. You make Ooh. the money best actually <laughs> Settle down, relax yourself girl, please settle down I was an abstract character with a different essence Man, I was using like big words and everything, my god Drop the hottest track in the earth, I call it work, progress Ah oh, man It's funny listening to this again <laughs> Funny story about that track in particular, I actually uh, wrote it while I was uh, supposed to be studying in school and yeah, of course, you know me, my brain just does not work properly in a school setting. So <laughs> honestly, I'm like impressed with my old lines. I, I'm not quite on top of it with my lines and verse structure nowadays because like, I don't know, a, a lot of my stuff nowadays is more story driven. Even though this in itself is a storied project, and we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, here you go, Soliloquy Part 1. Uh. To all the people that don't know a single thing about me You'll understand the reason why you shouldn't choose to doubt me I'm just a youngin' so I understand you thinking healthy On top of the game the industry won't be the same without me This purgatory has been trapped beneath the bars But I was given the cue once I saw I was a star Through the killers on the street whenever that appealing It took me moving through this place so I could break my ceiling <laughs> If I could do it then I'd Yeah so that line in particular was just because uh, we moved to Surrey recently And uh, Surrey has this reputation if you live in Vancouver of being like the super dangerous place. The given the key once I saw it was a star line was because my my high school when I moved here is called Sullivan Heights and their their whole thing is like stars, Sullivan stars, something like that. But down me, this purgatory has been trapped beneath the bars. So the purgatory trapped beneath the bars. That <laughs> that's a good line, dude. So the whole idea behind that is because like I didn't bother stepping into rapping like seriously. Uh, like it was trapped. All that was trapped in me until I found the key, which was Sullivan Heights, like moving to Surrey and like feeling like a new person and releasing something on my own. So there, there is some deep stuff in here, you guys. <laughs> But for your discretion If time is money Then I get you wouldn't pay attention If I had money Maybe then you would give me some credit But since you wouldn't You don't get to witness my ascension Ooh. If you don't get it Better check up on your comprehension <laughs> Being the best in the world I Alright so Story behind Soliloquy And the reason why I chose The title Soliloquy And all that stuff Is cause uh 
I was in English class one day and I heard the word soliloquy and I was like, what does that mean? That sounds kind of cool. And I found out it was a, uh, hang on, let's do a Google search real quick. We're checking out on Google. Uh, speaking one's thoughts aloud, out loud, regardless of any hears. So specifically in like a play or any kind of monologue or something like that. So if you think of that in the concept of uh, in a musical project, uh, you're doing a soliloquy, which is speaking out your mind through the music, which is why I thought it was an awesome idea to do soliloquy. So, ooh, interlude. I remember waking up one night and there was this piano riff in my head. Check, what is this? One, two, three, four. Yours truly. This is actually the first rap song I've ever written. And also the first beat I ever made too. I remember this beat drop here. Uh, do, 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 do. Take you to mom, listen to the world in stereo. Turning all the heaven straight to heaven just to find out where the hell we go. Turning your head in just to see where... Turning our heads in up to heaven just to find out where the hell we go. <laughs> this, who is this guy? This doesn't sound like me anymore. These were pale in the right, and time and time again I want the end. I just might. I'm looking up there at the sky, hoping one day you'll smite. I never fell asleep. I'm oh. always looking for light. I thought I found my answer in a person. But, but not, not quite. quite. Oh, a lot of things. that's alluding to a song later on. Much as I want to say, has it gotten better? Have things really changed since I wrote this letter for you? So that whole song is literally a letter to my future self. Or a letter that I'm reading from a past version of myself and i got the idea off of like something that we did in high school in grade eight we were like writing a letter to your future self and uh, <laughs> uh since i moved to a new high school i had to like go back to my old one and pick it up from that school and then later on when i finally graduated i opened it up and i started reading it and freaking this guy th this guy is just like oh hey have you do you have a girlfriend yet how many girlfriends have you had is it just one? Two? Maybe you haven't had any. Yeah, I'm lonely. And it's all a bunch of like negativity and like just sadness that I'm speaking up to myself. And it's like, damn, I'm looking at this like, bro, what the hell's wrong with you, man? Like, <laughs> throw some encouragement my way, you know, like you, you went through five years of this and this is all you're going to give me. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but it's one of those things you get to look back at and just laugh. <laughs> Anyways, next track, player two. Uh, funny thing about player two is... uh. It got turned into its own song, or uh, part two in my Gamer Girl album. So uh, go ahead, check that out. Also in the description below. So, player two, first rendition, first version. Uh, yeah, this was before I was any good at mixing and mastering, so. The Mario, Super Mario World sample, nice. Yeah, this is like when I was learning to produce, so. A lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of lear fun learning to produce. If you want to learn like something like interesting and different, learn how to make music. It's, it's great. It's a fun experience. Look, I'm looking for my player too. I'm trying to find a way to link a cable up from me to you. Sounds so dirty. I always started dating, but I thought it was a hassle. Jumped in every other space, but you, you were, were in, in another, another castle. castle. I was lost in different venue choices on the menu. Didn't, didn't want a girl. I had to put a coin to continue. Ooh. I'll be there to risk you. Didn't want a coin to put it. Didn't want a girl to. I had to put a coin. What the hell? Didn't want a girl. I had to put a coin in to continue. And that's so funny because I use that exact same phrase in the song in Gamer Girl, uh, the song Continue, uh, featuring my guy Angelo. Check that out right over here. Man, this is, it just goes full circle with this song. This this song is the entire basis of why I made Gamer Girl. So <laughs> changing it up because we started from the bottom and, and we're we'll leveling, leveling up. up. Ooh. All right, next song, Find Yourself. Oh, this is also another interlude. Something I remember. I made a lot of like. Know? interludes and everything because really doesn't go a couple of my friends are like why do you have so many interludes like i i get it this is like a everything that i do is very story driven and like you have to listen to it straight up and you have to listen to everything in order to piece everything together and what i'm doing with these interludes is kind of like it was like a way of kind of guiding the story all the way through and yeah that's if you think about what a soliloquy is you're reading out your mind to an audience in a play Regardless of knowing that they're there or not, and this is part of that. I I just needed a little inspiration, you know. Mm. And uh, that's I need some inspiration. And the next track, false inspiration. So <laughs> need a little inspiration, but you're a false inspiration. And yeah, let the track speak for itself. 
Oh man, I I love. Let me just say, I love this introduction. Like this, the start to the song so much. It's so good. <laughs> Set, I'm very decorated. New rap, my best if I ain't hesitating. New friends, new quests that I ain't let him in. New time, new I can't even remember it. I've been trying now, no point. Time lost, I'm always filled with doubt. All I really wanted was someone to stay with all my life. Leaving me was wrong, but oh, maybe you were right. Cause yeah, I this is so like sad. <laughs> you never really listened. I saved you like a guardian angel. You tried to kill yourself so many times, it still wasn't great. Cause oh, I was uh, getting a little personal there. Can make things different. <laughs> I don't get why you ran and found another guy. I guess that. Yeah, so, uh, uh I, <laughs> I wrote that in like response to like a breakup that I had with an ex girlfriend. I was young. <laughs> That find yourself in false inspiration together is sort of just a self reminder that like okay well things could be great but you never know like maybe this is just a false sense of relief and positivity so I don't want to get too down on this <laughs> too down in the dumps you know uh, next track why you on the side you say you're trying to make your name then why you on the side you next the song is literally name, just me spitting bars so <laughs> It's like, hey, so don't be on the side, side? Yeah, get you yourself the in side? there, you know? You you that's a long ass hook. That's the walk over here. Oh, yeah, that's what I need. The alchemist is booing up a poem just like alchemy. Ooh. This is my poetry. It's falling far from up the tree. I'm matching up the samples and then I create some MP3s. Oh, that you can to. Break it down. <laughs> don't need to say my name, just read it because it's on the cover. But if you don't, it's MJ and I'm on the come up. Don't mistake me for Yeah, I didn't even know what I wanted my rapper name to be, so I was like, MJ? <laughs> All right, last track's the Loki part two. Okay, so I forgot really what my intention was or what I was thinking. Part one and part two are like connected in a sense, and both of them are trying to send a message to people who are listening. So we'll just quickly go through that. <laughs> if you want to hear the message, you gotta listen to the song yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I took the necessary steps so everyone could see me. Ooh. I even dropped the shit on Twitter, nobody retweets me. Mm. My life is always on the line, you people couldn't read me. This is my ever <laughs> oh my god, my life is on the line, you people couldn't read me. And I'm talking to all this sad stuff before it, my god. I'm just a grill when compared, compared to, to other super, super saints. saints. My words are truly simple, you are just not concentrating. Can't the stacks it to the ceiling when I'm compensated, but with the topic of death, I'm, I'm always, always contemplating. contemplating. Um, Man, I don't want to. I'm such a sad guy, man. God. <laughs> what do I do when everybody has their eyes on me? I went ahead and took the whistle and dropped the little queen. And I just want to be free. I just want to be me. Oh, wow. That was creative. I'm the person I want to be. Me, myself, and I. There isn't room for personalities. I'd rather be Damn. alone than be a gnome. And then I realized I'll always have me at home. That's what I need. Home is where the heart is, yet I never feel the beat. Let me oh, my God. Okay, this part. This part's lit. This is art hidden in the skies. Don't take it apart. If you're hurting, then I wonder why. Switching up the Man. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So that was my first ever project that I ever released. Uh, low key, I kind of released another project before that, but I probably shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> that was soliloquy. Uh, let me know how you guys feel thought about it. What you guys thought about it in the comments section below. And also, in the description, if you guys want to listen to the whole thing yourself, a little trip down memory lane, featuring your boy MJ in the booth. Anyways, Make You Love Me EP is out now, guys. Give that a listen, please. If you liked the video, please give me a like. If you didn't like it, you could leave. Just get out of here. Nobody wants you here anyways. I love you. Bye. Oh, and also, I just want to say a shout out to my guys, Angelo and Jed, for featuring in Casper. Probably one of my favorite songs on that EP. And also shout out to my guy Raptor, MacManic. Check out his channel over here or here. I can't remember. Or down there in the description. The, the description has everything, guys. Always check that out every time you watch a video. Because there's always something there for you to see. And also shout out to my girlfriend, Dominique. I love you. All right. Okay. You guys take care. See you later. Okay. Won't you tell me what you up to lately? No? Then won't you tell me why we ain't been seeing you? Girl, you the greatest I'm wondering if you could even say this I'm on the side Keeping you notified But I'm stuck in your notifications huh? Telling me that I can reach out to you But when it comes to messaging You act like I ain't do it